Man, it must really suck to be Shadow Moon. <laughs> God damn. Alright y'all, welcome back to another Ramblin' Review. In this review, we're going to be reviewing American Gods, uh, Season 2. I mean, Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, I don't know the name of the episode. I'll have it in the title by the time this video goes up. But, yeah, man, dude, this show is fucking great. <laughs> I get fucking in... <coughs> it's like a fucking bad acid trip, too, man. But, but what I was saying at, at the, in the intro there, man, like... It must fucking suck to be Shadow Moon. <laughs> like, dude, like, his life fucking sucks, bro. I mean, he goes, he gets put in prison. He, while he's in prison, man, like, his wife dies in the wreck with his best friend. Then he comes to find out that his wife was cheating on him with his best friend. And when she died, she was sucking his dick. And on top of that, his best friend is also Dane Cook. <laughs> you know, and then he gets out of jail two days early. You know, that's cool. But then, like, because his wife died. Okay, then he meets up with this crazy old guy who fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? Getting, like, work magic and shit. And then, you know, and then he gets beat up by a leprechaun. <laughs> like, you know, I, I know Mask Queen's not, it's, it's actually based off a different thing. He just uses the term leprechaun. It's actually a whole different thing that he actually is. But he gets beat up by a leprechaun. Right. Then he fucking, like, goes to the funeral, and then after the funeral, he gets fucking sucked into a goddamn virtual limo, <laughs> and, like, fucking gets talked shit to by this fucking, uh, fucking Justin Bieber-looking motherfucker, smoking toad skins or whatever <laughs> and shit, and then he gets, like, beat the fuck up by these fucking faceless minions who fucking hang his ass from a goddamn telephone pole or tree or some shit. Like, dude, and then, and then on top of that, <laughs> like, he, he gets put back together, and then guys to go play checkers with fucking Chernobog, you know what I'm saying, like, like, and I'll get to him in a minute. But now, like, the motherfucker's about to get his goddamn skull crushed in by a hammer. <laughs> like, dude, Shadow Moon, bro. <laughs> Damn, it must suck to be him. But yeah, man, let's, let's get into it, man. Okay, so, yeah, um... We start out, man, we got, um, you know, like, Shadow, you know, like, like, we start out with, with Orlando Jones, Orlando Jones? I think it's, it's Orlando Jones or Orlando Smith, I can't remember which. I don't even think about Orlando Jones the wrestler. It might be Orlando Smith. Anyway, it's that dude, man, that was in Evolution and Double Take and all, all this other shit with Eddie Griffin and stuff, man. He's, he's a really good actor, man, and his character... They call him uh, a Nancy, but in the, in the book his name is Mr. Nancy, because they'll run into him later. <laughs> but we get to see how and he's like a spider god in Africa, and we get to see how he makes his way to America and stuff. And God, man, that speech he gives on that boat, oh my God, that was fucking amazing, it's an amazing ass speech and shit. That dude, man, like he fucking killed that shit. <laughs> like, but then, okay, so we get that. Then we cut to like you know Shadow Moon. Getting sewed up by a fucking doctor and shit, and, and like goes back and knocks on Wednesday's, you know, like bangs on Wednesday's door. And he's like, "Hey, motherfucker! Like, you tell me what the fuck? I got like, you know, just one motherfucker, and, and then this other motherfucker, you know, um, like they beat me up. They tried to hang me and shit. And Wednesday's like, bro, like, uh, you're doing pretty good, man. <laughs> to come out of the, to be standing here telling me about being lynched, <laughs> like." and stuff and then um you know then like shadow like wednesday's in there boning some chick and stuff and uh so he goes to his room to fucking take a fucking bubble bath and shit and i can't blame him, bro <laughs> like after all that shit man but then we get uh then then they're like well we're gonna go to uh fucking chicago and shit right because wednesday has to go get his hammer and he and 
Shadow Moon's like, let's take the road, the highway, and Wednesday's like, no highways, none, ever. And there's a reason for that. And the god of, the transportation, uh, the god, the new god called transportation is that, and we'll run into him eventually. But, uh, yeah, so they go to Chicago, he goes in, and Wednesday's got to meet with somebody, so Shadow Moon goes shopping for him. And while he's there, man, Lucille Ball on TV starts talking to him and stuff. It just basically it's the same shit again with the technology boy. Like she's all like, "Oh, Shadow, you should come work for me. Fuck Wednesday, come work for me because we're the new guys and we're taking over." And that's media. And she's the one that the, she's the god of like television and all that shit. And she's played by Julian Anderson, uh, who I think is Scully from the X Files, which is crazy. But in the book, that's how she appears most of the time, too, is Lucille Ball, like, in the book. Like, she's like that, too. But he starts questioning whether he's going crazy after all this shit that keeps happening to him. He questions if he's going crazy, am I losing my mind, stuff like that. And it's like, no, dude, you can't, like, I love what uh Wednesday tells him later. He's like, bro, if it's, like, if we get this done, man, what's a, what, what's, what's a little bit going mad if we get all this shit done? It's way worse shit out there. But he goes back, meets up Wednesday at the diner, and then we see another character who will become important later on, and that character is the is the Jin, or if you you know like the middle like the uh, the the uh, entity the Jin, like you ever seen Wishmaster, like the Jin and stuff is a uh, entity, and so that's the Jin, and so right. So then we go to fucking um, uh, they get found back in Chicago, and they go see uh. Wednesday's hammer. Well, first we meet these old lady, the Zoria sisters, and they are like, they have a lot to do with that dude that they're with, Charnabog and stuff, and I'll get to him in a minute. But, uh, they have, they have a lot to do with that guy and stuff, and like one of them that had the morning star, the evening star, and then, and then the other sister in the room, I think it's the sister in the room, is actually made up for the TV show because in the book there's only two of them but in the TV show there's three and the sister in the room I think is made up for the TV I think I think I know one of the sisters is made up and I think it's the one in the room and shit but they, they each one they, the reason they're called the morning star and the evening star it's not like Lucifer's the morning star not that stupid shit it's because she opens his gate in the morning <laughs> for him to leave like, I think it's like uh, the, his brother, Bill, Bill Bog, that they were talking about during the thing and stuff. Now, so we see this dude, man, he comes back home, and he's like fucking yelling at Wednesday to get the fuck out, and why the fuck are you here? Now, the thing about Chernobog is, Chernobog is a Slavic uh, deity. He is supposed to, he's not evil, but he's like more, one of the more darker deities. Not evil per se, but evil. He's the evil side, but then again, like the way he was talking, his brother was actually the evil one. And shit, his brother's the light side. But he is a Slavic god called Chernobog. And stuff, and... I can't go into much more than that. <coughs> because, honestly, I don't know a lot about him. I pretty much know, just know basically what they said in the show about him. And stuff, but like, um... Yeah, um, he fucking, you know, like, gives his great speech at the dinner table, man, like, like, the guy playing him, and he's in a lot of shit, too, and I cannot remember his fucking name right offhand, because, I'm, and, and honestly, I just don't care to fucking look it up, but, uh, this dude is fucking phenomenal, and I love the way he's playing Chernobog and stuff, and, um, I can't, like, he gives this great speech at the table, right? Like his great, this great monologue he gives at the table, at the dinner table while they're eating. And um, then he challenges uh, Shadow to a game of checkers. But the prize of the game of checkers is, is Shadow wins, and he will go with Wednesday and Shadow on their quest to fight the the uh, new gods. But if he loses, he gets to. Uh, bash Shadow's head in with one swing of his giant fucking sledgehammer like right here like right there and shit 
is to get as a well and get on his knees and get hit in the fucking face with a sledgehammer. And Shadow loses. And that's when the episode just ends. Right. And we get and once again, I I don't like to talk about Bill Quist like within the text of everything else because what's going on with her kind of doesn't have anything else to do with the rest of the story so that's why I talk about her after I talk about the rest of what's going on and stuff but yeah Bill Quist so now apparently she's still uh, eat like swallowing people whole with her vagina and um she goes to a, I think it's a museum she goes to and she sees like a uh, like a like an old statue of herself or something and then she sees like the things she was used to wear, I guess, and stuff. I guess that's what that was. It was like because she made herself like come up through the carpet shit and stuff, man. But yeah, weird. I can't wait to see how she meets back up with the rest of the crew and stuff. But yeah, um, so yeah, it's a great episode, man. Another great episode, dude. It's going. Oh, one thing I want to talk about before we get out of here, man, is uh, I like that Ricky Whittle plays Shadow like really really as like the super duper straight man against all this crazy shit like he's like super duper straight man against all this insanity around him and stuff and I love that he plays him that way and any and what's crazy is any other show and stuff dude they could have fucked that up you know what I mean like it could have been too straight but the way that dude plays Shadow is fucking great like I love, I love the contrast between Wednesday and, and Shadow, and, that, and that's a lot of what the book hinges on, so the, naturally the TV show is going to hinge on it too, and they do a fantastic job. But yeah, all in all, man, this is another good episode, man. Um, highly suggest you check it out if you haven't already, and if you like this video and you like American Gods, man, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that other shit down below. And as always, I hate you, I hate you, I don't even know you, and I hate your guts. I hope all the bad things in life happen to you and nobody else but you.